In today's video, I want to show you my top eight e-com products that you can launch in September 2024. And I know these products will crush it this coming Q4. If there's one single thing I've learned in going from zero to more than $19 million in revenue with my e-com brands in just three years, it is that the product is crucial. Honestly, you're just one good product away from completely changing your life. And in this video, I'll give you eight different options. If you haven't seen it yet, my Instagram and TikTok account have absolutely blown up due to these product recommendations. People are getting crazy results with them all for free. So I wanted to make a more in-depth version. The first product is this MagSafe water bottle. It's essentially just a basic water bottle, but with a MagSafe feature, as you can see here, that allows you to clip your iPhone onto it. Rhino Shield here, who've made it, have got incredible content for it. You can see how you can pull it up here and basically just attach your iPhone, turn it the way you want it. This is an incredible product, mostly due to how many angles you can do on the advertising. Most people know the feeling of maybe driving, being in the gym, being outdoor, and in a situation where you need to have your phone in a certain way, whether it's as a GPS when you're driving or when you're in the gym to watch some content or even film yourself when you're outside, this product is a game changer. I always love spying on e-com brands using Trend Rocket and if we just search them up here, Rhino Shield, you can see that they are crushing it. So their scaling score here, it's basically a metric of how far they are scaling, is very, very high. And we can even go in here and take a look at all of their Facebook ads and see how exactly these guys are creating their ads. You can see right now they've got 130 ads live and you can see that they are pushing a lot this water bottle. Here you can see all different kinds of angles that they are using. You can use it to film yourself doing all sorts of stuff, how you can use it while you're in the school for having an extra monitor even. There's so many angles here and you can see Rhino Shield are doing an incredible job of doing these angles. The main thing though is that their version is actually quite expensive. It's $60 and then you need to buy their cover as well for $45, adding it up to $105 in total. You can definitely make a cheaper version, have the same branding, have the same positioning, and crush it with this product. If we go into Alibaba and type in something like water bottle magnetic holder, there you can see it is actually, you will get tons of different options. It's just about picking the right one that's clean looking and then you need to get working on your content. The one thing though with a product like this is I feel like the niche is quite slim for a few local countries. Typically, I like to start off with only advertising in one single country, crushing it in that country and then expanding into more countries. But with a product like this, I feel like I would go internationally pretty fast, probably advertise it to most of Europe as soon as you've just gotten the hang of it in one single country like the Netherlands or Denmark where I prefer launching my products. One of the very best e-com hacks I can ever give you is basically just to go on to every e-com brand's trust pilot, look at their reviews and see where we can improve upon the competitor. So if we go on a site like Rhino Shield here, we can take a look at their US reviews and you can actually see on Germany, Spain, UK, France, they're getting kind of bad reviews. So it's also interesting to see what's going wrong there. We can filter for their lowest kind of reviews. They say so for express delivery, they paid extra but didn't get it in time. Somebody says that they couldn't deliver it. So I think what most people seem to complain about here is the high shipping cost of this product, shipping it to Europe. It makes sense when we're taking a look at this brand because after all, they're getting kind of good reviews in the US but very bad in Europe. So it seems like these guys basically haven't solved their supply chain in Europe yet. Unfortunately for them, they may be unaware of some of the local 3PLs in Europe, such as the one I've built. There's actually a quite fast solution for that. As I said, you just need to get on a local 3PL. And you always want to do that when crossing larger borders. It's very, very easy shipping inside of Europe to every single country, but it's very difficult getting outside of the EU borders with shipping. It's way more complicated. These guys are most likely shipping all of their products directly from the US to Europe. I can't recommend that. Product number two is the Spinshot Tennis Ball Machine. Now you'll see that these guys have got some pretty premium tennis ball machines, but they also have got one that's way more cheaper. And this one is actually sold out. Now, what this basically is, is it's just just a machine that yeah, can throw these tennis balls at you when you're playing. That way you can train by yourself. You can see it over here even how it works. If I just zoom out here, you see that? That way kids and everyone can work out their tennis skills at home. One of the most overlooked things about e-com and what I see from beginners is that they think they have to find some large niche to succeed in. But in reality, it is often way, way easier to succeed in the smaller niches. The money really are in the niches if you can understand how to market it. A solid, solid, well-branded e 
e-com store in the tennis niche could crush it. At least in Denmark or in Scandinavia, I don't know any particularly good e-com people that have built a great tennis equipment site. And so I think this is an incredible opportunity. This product in itself is very, very interesting. Now, I couldn't find these guys on SpinShot. So one thing you can also do is you can use the software called SimilarWeb to check them out. And you can actually see that these guys are on SimilarWeb. Rule of thumb, if you can find some data on a e-com site on SimilarWeb, they are of a substantial size. So if you can't find them on sites like Trend Rocket, then try out SimilarWeb. If you can find them there, you know they are doing semi-okay. So according to SimilarWeb, these guys are having around 20,000 sessions each month. That's not necessarily a lot, but I also don't think these guys have done a great job. So once again, let's try and go onto Alibaba, see if we can find this product. I would just type in tennis ball machine. Boom, you can see tons of variations right here at different price points as well. Uh, to me, this is an incredible opportunity and you can actually see this one looks very, very, very similar to these guys premium model, right? I actually think it's the same to be honest with you. There are a bunch of products in here and here you can actually see the one that I recommended to you guys. You can buy it for around $50. Something you'll see in this video is that for a lot of the products I prefer, they have all got great, great advertising angles. And that's because, well, essentially half of the work here the most difficult thing about having an e-com brand is coming up with those unique angles that can catch people's attention on social media and then convert them. Right, the third product is Final Press. Now, this is an incredible product for people who love coffee on the go. Let me explain what it is. As you can see here, it's basically a on the go coffee presser, meaning wherever you are, you can actually do a fresh press of your coffee. So if we click into the product, you can see that these guys are actually selling this for what equates to around 50 euros. That's actually a fine price point with enough margin force to be profitable. If you see it here, you can see how it is working and that basically it enables you to press your coffee where ever you are. One of the main reasons, once again, why I absolutely love this product and strongly believe in it is due to the incredible visuals you can do just like you see here on the screen. This is so captivating and this is incredible for coffee lovers. I know this can crush it. In addition to that, I went onto their Trustpilot and could see that they've got four reviews and they are all extremely bad, meaning there's definitely ways you can improve upon this product. It doesn't have to be with the same product. You don't have to copy these guys, but this is a great inspiration for how you can do it. If we look them up on Trend Rocket, though, you can see that these guys have a scaling score of 100, meaning these guys are crushing it right now. They are scaling to the moon. If we take a look at their ads library here, we can see what kind of ads they actively are running, meaning what kind of ads are working for them. And you can actually see how simple they are. It's just very, very basic images. They've got a few videos over here that kind of show how it works in the nature, which it of course is very good for. But other than that, it's really just very simple, simple images and a few very UGC like videos. This is so easy to replicate. And this is an incredible product in itself. I would launch this in a healthy market like Denmark, the Netherlands or Sweden, get it to perform and then slowly expand to more countries in order to have a larger mass market, just as I would do with the two other products I just mentioned to you guys. If we go into Alibaba once again, let's try and search for a coffee press. And you can easily see that there are a bunch of options. This one is looking different, but still it's for when you're on the go. Yeah, I actually think that one up here is a great, great option. A mini espresso, a portable coffee maker for when you're on the go. This is perfect for people who love being in the nature. You can see this one, you actually need to charge, but that's also fine. It's still portable. And I think it has a lot of unique features, a lot of stuff to market towards here, both coffee lovers and nature lovers and all that's in between. The next product with the highest price point out of all of these is an electric lawnmower. And I know what you're thinking now, Nikolai, isn't that too complex? There's probably way too much technology involved. And sure there is if you do find a low quality version on Alibaba, but for the people that are able to find a high quality version, you can generate so much revenue from this product trust me this is a brand that's quite established in denmark they're actually available in most of europe but they have crushed it in denmark and in the scandinavian market with basically just a lower price point of an electric lawnmower so to summarize here these guys are doing incredible you can see down here on the side that they have got some quite good content and electric lawnmowers is something that most people actually want nowadays the thing though is that a lot of the more established brands are a lot more expensive so coming in here with a lower price point option can be incredible incredible. But if we check out these guys trust pilot, you can actually see that even though they've had a lot of orders, the trust pilot is terrible. And now that's because these guys haven't been able to simply find a good enough product. You can easily see it. They say that this one stopped cutting after 12 days. This one actually worked for three years, but now it won't return and she can't get help. We need to find a higher quality version here. And most often in life, quality and price goes hand in hand with each other. So we want to go on Alibaba and see if we can find a 
robotic lawnmower for a slightly higher price point. We don't want to go for the cheap option. You can see here there are actually some quite established businesses selling it. And this one looks very, very solid. You can see a very high price point. The thing with these kind of expensive products is that you don't need more than a margin of 50% in order to make enough profit on them because your price is so high. It enables you to be able to spend enough on ads and still make a lot of money. Obviously, if you can get close to that 3x markup or 67% margin on the product, that would be incredible. But still, this is a great, great option. You can even see these guys aren't even running ads, guys. And that's so a low hanging fruit if you're not running ads today in this dnh i'm not sure what you are doing also there's a very unique opportunity with this product to go actually more into b2b sales i know all i talk about is of course e-commerce and that's naturally from the business to the consumer direct to consumer d2c but in reality with products like these there is also a great opportunity for selling them directly to other businesses that can then sell it further on to the customer and if you're able to do that you can generate probably some of the easiest revenue and profit in your life as an example i once saw sold an order worth 150,000 euros to one single B2B company. They bought, I think it was 3,000 toothbrushes or maybe even 10,000 toothbrushes from us. And we made a lot of money on that order without doing anything. Product number five. What's the one thing that's going pretty viral in 2024 is AI. AI is taking over. Everyone is talking about AI. And even when I post something on my profile and it contains AI, it goes extremely, extremely viral, much more than all of the other, even more value packed posts. So people are loving AI, hence why this product is incredible. This is a duck, something you can have on your desktop that has a built in AI. It enables you to do transcripts of everything and basically just from your side you can click on certain buttons, activate AI, call people and it will track everything. I'm not even sure all it does, but I know it seems incredible from the ads. If we take a look at the trust pilot, they haven't really got that many reviews. This tells us these guys are early to the game. If we search them up on Trend Rocket though, you can see they are scaling rapidly and even with a high revenue score as well. These guys are killing it. They've got a large, large demand and we can even take a look at their ads library here. You can see they've got a thousand and 100 ads live. That's as many ads as I had when my brands were at its peak. So these guys are killing it with ads as well. Just another reason why this product is incredible. So you can see here, it's, this is just a basic unboxing video with a voiceover, free transcription service. They can probably transcribe all of your meetings and everything. It can do noise cancellation and it's a dock station, yeah. And if we take a look at the price point, guys, this is really, really interesting. $230, that's a lot of profit. And the final thing here is of course, then to source the product. These guys are so early, I could easily go in with a product like this towards the Scandinavian market, or some local countries in Europe, do a native site, translate it in the native language, and then push it out to each and everyone, positioning us as a more local and uh, yeah, neighborhood friendly e-com brand. The main con here though is probably sourcing the product. We do have to be careful that we're finding an actual good product that we can sell to our customers, not something terrible. So I would have to spend a lot of time on Alibaba to find the correct version for you, but I think you get the point by now. Okay, next product is this one here. This is a Danish brand who have crushed it in a while, but I know for a fact you could make a lot of profit taking inspiration from these guys with a similar product, selling it at a cheaper price point. But first, let me explain the product. Their best seller by far is this baby hammock. You can see they sell it for 615 euros. That's a very, very high price point. And I know a lot of people have actually had success in Denmark, at least where these guys originally launched for selling a lower price point product for like 300 euros. Still a very high price point with a lot of profit, but comparing it to a 615 euro product, there's a lot of difference in there and people are willing to save and go for the cheaper option. That's at least what I've seen in Denmark. So go to your local country with a product like this. If you're from Norway, start a similar product in a Norwegian store with this baby hammock and you can do it almost in every single country in Europe. Also outside, maybe Australia as well is a great opportunity. Basically what this does, it has a motor up here that kind of rocks the baby up and down, giving it a feel of being kind of pushed in this kind of kid's chair or whatever it's called. So you can even control this with your app and then it's just automized, kids will fall asleep faster. There's a lot of pain points you can advertise this product to. Parents, they love having their children sleep because it means they get some kind of peace while having small kids. And so if you can literally give them that solution of peace, people will pay so much for that. This is also what happened with this product. It went absolutely viral in Denmark. And I know for a fact, these guys have done plus 10 million euros in revenue. I think the vast majority has come from Denmark. So this is a great opportunity. I know you can find it easily on Alibaba. Automatic baby 
Hammock. I know a bunch of e-com brands in Denmark has done it. There's also these kind of alternatives. Basically, it does the same. It rocks the kind of baby hammock here. But you can see there are a lot of options of these. And boom, this looks very, very much like the one I just showed you guys, right? So then you just need the motor and you can probably ask these guys about it. You can see this one here even has the motor up in the top. So this is the alternative for you guys right here, right now. These guys are crushing it on ads as well. The main thing here is to push a lot on the pain points that you actually solve and you can do extremely, extremely large revenue. Look at their trust pilot score as well. These guys have been crushing it for a while. This is an incredible opportunity and I know people have done it before selling this at a lower price point, meaning they have found a good Alibaba supplier and positioned themselves cheaper. I think most of you guys should do the same. Next one in line, Scanovus. Now, this is a Danish company that actually sold these automatic folding irons for clothes. And I know they've done quite well when also search upon other markets. There seem to be a lot of people crushing it with this product, both locally and internationally in Europe. Meaning, this is an incredible opportunity for most of you guys. As an example, these guys aren't even running ads any longer, but I know for a fact their product converted. This is a price point of around 180 euros, which is actually not too bad. If we take a look at the Trustpilot, they had solid reviews, and I can very, very easily find their products or similar versions on Alibaba. I just typed in automatic ironing and folding machine. Here it is, a very, very unique version. Once again here, this product is incredible because of the hooks that it can create. And this is a pain point that I think most men can relate to. So once again, I think this is an incredible opportunity for how you can get a great product and build a brand around something that's actually a problem people can relate to and generate some revenue based off that. So I think with that said, you guys take this away. Final product number eight is one that I featured on my TikTok a few months ago. This is a portable dryer for your home and it's even very stylish. You can see these guys' morals. They've actually built quite a solid site around this product and they are selling it for a very, very interesting price point of 489 euros. So their site isn't that optimized to be honest, but they've got great content of it. And this definitely solves a lot of people's issues. You can see all of their angles and content down here quite incredible and yeah it's really innovative for people who live in apartments this is a game changer most people probably haven't got space especially when they're studying when they haven't got the largest apartment so then this product comes into play where you can easily come in and play on yeah how small this is how cool of a solution it is and if you compare this to a real dryer this is way way cheaper so this is an extremely interesting product once again solves an actual issue and hopefully you can see on all of these products there are no gimmicks here it's true products that has some kind of potential but are kind of unique. If we go on to Alibaba, you can see tons of variations here. This is a washing machine even. This is a dryer. This is a washing machine, a washing machine more and a dryer. So there is a lot of potential with products like these. That's what I'm trying to say. If we look them up on Trustpilot though, they haven't even got any reviews, but I know yeah, they aren't also running ads, but I know for a fact they've crushed it on TikTok with this product. And most likely these guys are just getting started. So this is the perfect time for guys like you come in and position yourself as an alternative maybe do a more converting site i think you can easily do that and then you've got an incredible opportunity these guys have branded it well but they aren't running ads and they don't really seem like the largest e-com experts to me so this is your guys opportunity use my strategies and advice to generate a completely better site with high converting ads and you are off to the races listen if you like videos like these where i show you concrete product ideas and tell you what to look for let me know in the comments leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video